A lot of video games, especially the Dragon Ball video games, tend to try to do battle damage, yet due to the limitations of hardware, this has never been really that great. However, I feel as though that with Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4, if they can figure out and use the capabilities of the SSD and other capabilities of the PS5, then we could be seeing a game that does what I call real-time battle damage. That's right. That means anytime you get hit, punched, depending on the area of contact, it causes the clothes to have smudges over time. We've seen this to where if you get to a certain amount of health, you take a certain amount of damage out of the video games, clothes magically just come off but it's never the case. Now, the only issue with this would be is that how would you do this? Let's say if you punch someone, what if the person's always punched in certain areas and it's always detected? Then that means the only way a person's clothes would magically start to rip off is if they're hit by some huge blast or they're caught off guard by say, because punching in my opinion shouldn't be what causes you to have a bunch of clothes rip off but more so maybe the bruising as you can see like with goku or vegeta like on the skin maybe like they start bleeding certain areas but then let's say they do a kamehameha maybe it f's up the clothes a little bit and then that's when you see like the real-time battle damage all like oh snap he just got hit by a blast like a good example is like when Vegeta got hit by the Kamehameha when he fought against Goku, you could tell that he was damaged, like his clothes got damaged. We need more stuff like that in the Dragon Ball games, especially this one because then it makes the believability up there. And this is one of those subtle details that could make the game more enjoyable. I just wanted to share this opinion with you guys. What do you guys think about this? I'm Makai San and I'll catch you guys later. We'll